So it's really, really good news that data self-release. And um, every human being has the access to the perfect power of having a totally stable mind. <coughs> every cell of our body is actually vibrating with this knowledge. And that is why we are seeking so instantly for look, looking for this, because we know somewhere deep inside that there is actually a very stable place inside. Something that is totally unaffected about all our data. And data in this training is just a word that we use to summarize everything that we experience. Every thought, every emotion, just everything, sensations in the body, whatever we experience, we call data. So that is really good news to know that there is something inside that is totally stable, not affected at all by all our data. But what we need now is a simple instruction set to tap into this stableness. Something that helps us to come in direct contact with what we call in this training open intelligence. So what is open intelligence and how can we tap into that? A very simple thing that we can do when we are sitting here, of course, is to just stop our thinking and to see what happens. So just let us do that for a brief second. Just stop our thinking and see what happens. What you might notice is that there is an alertness, something that is very clear, cognizant, aware. So that is how easy it is to introduce yourselves to open intelligence in the beginning. And that is also the main instruction in the training, to use that instruction over and over again. Because if you do that, it will become continuous in your experience. So when we stop our thinking, we can see that immediately there is a thought or anything else coming up again. For most of us, very instantaneously. So the same alertness and the same wakefulness, you could say, that you experience when you stop your thinking is the same that is aware of the thought that is coming up. So in this way we can see that there really is no thought or emotion or data that has an independent nature of their own. But most of us are not trained in that from the beginning of our life. I would say quite contrary. When I came to the training I could see that I was basically trained in being scared of all my data. So I was in a, in a place of, of really being afraid. Because I've learned very early in life that I have to control my data. I have to try to control my thoughts and emotions, my anger, for example, my desire, or whatever popped up in my life. I knew that if I don't control that, I might end up in an institution or being divorced or whatever. So somehow I have to learn to control my data. And of course I felt like a total failure because I couldn't do that. It was impossible. So no one taught me that simple fact that all our thoughts and emotions and data are totally uncontrollable. We can't control it. So that was such a big relief in the beginning to just see that simple fact. To just see that all the effort that we put into trying to change Whatever we experience in life is a fatal one, it doesn't work. So that was also what Candice was speaking about on the, on the talk here. To see that we are really introducing something totally different in this training by just letting everything be as it is. By not indulge, avoid or try to replace it. All those strategies are basically based on one assumption that you have to do something about what you're experiencing when in fact you can't. So then when she is speaking about and um, the questions about the data self-release, 
that is impossible to see as long as we are so involved in trying to change what we are experiencing. It's like open intelligence is just unnoticed for us. So when we go back to that simple instruction again and again by taking short moments, we see what happens when we don't are so much involved in trying to change what we're experiencing. <coughs> that is the only way that we can really see that data self-release. They are doing that anyway, even if we try to change them. And we can see that now if we, when we are sitting here. It's impossible to hold on to anything. You can just see how your thoughts and emotions and data are changing all the time. And when we feel happy, we try to hold on to that happiness. But is that possible? When we are falling in love, for example, or we feel now I'm really in open intelligence, now I'm really clear. And then maybe we wake up the, the another day or the other day and it's not there anymore. So it shifts all the time. And we can see this in nature. We never pay attention to that. It's just so natural for us to see that everything actually change all the time or self-release. So that is when you start to smile in your life, when you can see and deeply sense in yourself if I don't put so much attention to trying to change my data, it actually self-release. So instead of kicking away all your data, try to get rid of them, when you combine them in a way, when you do, when you take a short moments, we have this crucial juncture, this coincidence of data and open intelligence. When we bring them together, together by just letting it be exactly as it is. So when I saw that, even if it sometimes is like, you know, the fan in the ceiling here, if we turn off the power, the fan doesn't stop immediately. Or if you take your foot off the potter's wheel, you don't kick anymore, just take the foot off. It doesn't stop immediately, but after a while it stops. And it's the same thing when you take short moments, maybe in the beginning with very afflictive states. Maybe you don't see any change at all. But over time you will see the big change that we experience when we are taking short moments. And we often get sidetracked by thinking that open intelligence feels in a certain way. It has to be some kind of, of pink, rosy feeling that every, every, every time feels good. But you can see that open intelligence involves everything. Everything is included in open intelligence. And the only way that we can see that is by taking the short moments and letting everything be as it is. But in the beginning, eh, when I took the short moments, it felt like nothing was really happening. Because I couldn't see the change immediately. So it took some time to really be aware of the power, the immense power that we have. And the stability that is in inherent to us when we just relax and let everything be as it is. <coughs>